Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. All right, let me tell you guys what we're gonna do at the very beginning. I want to creep off real quick. Hey, this is what we're gonna do. Once you're ready to go, okay, the first seven that we're gonna do, I want you guys to work on being on the inside of your back leg. So you're gonna start on the rubber a little bit just behind it, okay? And you're gonna cross over, lift, and go, okay? You see how, and don't be shy with it. Cross over, look in my pocket, go to my target. Does that make sense? So what I want you guys to stop doing, and I'm not saying that you guys are doing it, but it's a good drill to not do it, is when you lift, I want you to travel that way, right? I don't want you to come up here and be able to chill, right? You've made no progress to where you want to throw. Does that make sense? So when I lift, I should look like this, right? I should have that little drift. I should be able to get my, the, my weight to the inside of my foot. Mm -hmm. Make sense? So we're gonna start back here. It's gonna be all fastballs. You're gonna cross over, lift, and throw. All right? I want the crossover to be comfortable. So you're not reaching, all right? Just a comfortable crossover. Bam. Oh, Coach Jack is at it. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, nice job. So when you lift, I don't want my, my lift leg knee to go away from my hip, okay? I want it to within my hip box, and within my hip line. So I'm in here, not out there, okay? Count for yourselves, I'm not counting. All right, just get the seven. Yeah, I remember that, that's, it's wild. Hey, your glove side, let it clear the hip. Right now, you're so worried about that glove tucking in here that all your acceleration is stopping. You're decelerating way too quickly. So I'm left-handed, so I have to do it with this. When I throw, I don't want to stay stuck in here and all of a sudden, I'm stopping right here. I want to keep rotating, okay? So when I throw here, my glove side elbow has to clear this hip, right? So my arm can really come through. This is out in front. This is not out in front. Does that make sense? So don't worry too much about like staying in here and all tight, like let that thing stay loose. Stay loose within your shoulders and all the way through right there. So remember what we just worked on, which is being able to drift and shifting my weight on the inside of my foot. Right now you're just hanging up here, negative motion. We, if that's positive and this is negative, you're chilling in the negative. And we're trying to throw that way, right? So why are we hanging back here? Okay, lift. And go once you get close to the peak of your delivery with that front leg i should be shifting my weight on the inside of my foot hey two seamer so you're doing the same thing you're just crossing over the crossover should be comfortable so i don't want you like reaching like that right so just be in a nice comfortable stance if I'm comfortable, then we're gone. Well, I've been talking about you for a second, so it's all, it's all <laughs> good news. Cole has a cannon. It's got four put outs uh, in the field already. Uh, good arm. Uh, incredible arm. He's a little rock. He doesn't have a lot of training with mechanics. He really only holds the ball one way and throws it hard. He needs help with like another pitch. So he's got all. He's got the arm. Um, he's got the potential. And the, he's got the body. Form. Thank you. He just needs a little bit of the. Uh, the training of that. He's, he's athletically he's off the charts. So you don't throw anything else? Really. This is fastballs. Let me see your fastball grip. You throw it like that. Let's go. I'm just gonna try to give you a second pitch here. Okay. That isn't too difficult to learn right away. Keep them, you don't have to like really like press them together. Keep them a little bit tighter. Hold it comfortably for me right there. So what's comfortable? That's comfortable? Yeah. Throw that. Just throw it. Yeah. There. You see that? Yeah. So all I'm trying to do is change the axis of your fastball so it goes that way a little bit. Yeah, uh, a little bit this way, right? Mm -hmm. So the goal is the last touch the baseball gets is this. So it just kind of changes the axis of the baseball. So instead of going four seam all the way through, yeah. it's kind of spinning a little bit this way. Oh, okay. So you'll get like a little movement there. I don't know if you noticed that last pitch, but that's what it did. Okay, so hold it across. Okay. 
Yeah, let's see that. Yeah, good. Just exclusively throw that today. So we start learning something different. And it shouldn't be that difficult to pick up, but yeah, it's a cutter. It's basically what it is. Good. So now you have two fastballs, right? You have your regular one that you've thrown your entire life, and this is your cutter, okay? Just added a cutter. He actually picked it up way faster than I thought he was. I was like, this is how you hold it, Good. and just throw it and awesome. see what happens. Awesome. When you're at a set, how is your weight distributed on your back foot? Is it throughout, or is it on this half? Uh, okay, I want to distribute it as much as I can throughout the foot. Sometimes, like you're lifting, your heel's kind of popping up, and what happened on the breaker is it popped up, and then it turned that way, and then your body turned that way, and then you were like, I gotta throw that way. Yeah and everything spun off on you. Just really focus when you come to a set, is my entire foot cemented into the ground? Okay. okay. Is my weight distributed properly throughout? There you go. Joe, spread your feet out just a little bit. Like, get, put that front foot f closer to the catcher. Like, get out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just want to be well balanced. Like, I felt like the fir first couple, you were like really tall and just kind of doing this. Focus on one pitch though. Like really, since it's only 15 pitches, have a focus. Like, what do you want to throw the most today? Probably just the location of my fastball. Okay, then that's it. That's all you're working on today. Okay, location of the fastball. Don't mess around with anything else. Just focus on one thing. Engage that back leg and stay here. Are you counting? Because I'm not. Let's see the EFIS. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, get in there. 